Uh, this could be for Cassim or Lisa. What was the most dangerous situation you've ever been in while uh, filming California on? That's right. I did Lisa know does Cassim too. Which, by the way, I have to say, the most fun I've ever had in my life shooting a video was pretending to be you. Do you know that? I, I thought I it was, had so much fun that day. She showed me up too, because like usually I'll go out and film for a day, but I'll get like, you know, a half hour of footage. And she went out for like an hour and got like three hours of footage somehow. <laughs> it was so And it was all funnier than my stuff. Yeah, so yeah, right. I was like, you can't do that anymore, though. It was fun. Um, I guess I've always had a few close calls. Um, I had a uh, video called Black Santa, and there was a gentleman who was on some sort of drugs and uh, attacking me and my cameraman, but I think we handled it pretty well. I've never actually been hit in the face but I've been threatened plenty of times, on a daily basis almost, so that's fine, I live with that. There was just one guy who was kind of creepy when leave me alone, I think he was on drugs. No yeah. big deal. That's Venice. Like, no big you, deal. You're not gonna go to Venice and not see drugged out crazy people, but you have to. But there was a tattoo shop, like right next to where he films, and one of the guys who worked there, like was a fan of Cassim, and who would come out there and like, on that one episode, wasn't he like protecting you? On a street music. Yeah. We have like we have like bodyguards that just come out of nowhere. Yeah, they're like, so thank below. you. Who's on the internet? You guys are all considered my bodyguards just in case. Because I cannot defend myself in any way. <laughs> you failed. Um, this is for Cassie G. Um, what moment made you most uncomfortable while shooting California on? Um, none of them. He loved every second of it. There was. I don't know, this is a, I haven't thought about that. There was a, an interview that I did. Sometimes the interviews like get really interesting, but they don't work for uh, like the video. Like I talked to this girl who used to be a prostitute but then cleaned up her life and now she has like this family. It was like a really cool story. Um, but Hilarious. getting to that story was really awkward because I was talking about, I don't know, like spring break or something. Like that. And somehow it worked into that. And those are always more awkward for me because I'm trying to tell jokes, but then she's like pouring her heart out I'm talking about this weird life, and uh, yeah, other than that, all the other awkward stuff is just fine because I'm totally okay with being awkward, yeah. Are you gonna make any more street music videos? Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> yes, next. Uh, me and Peter started shooting street, the beginning of Street Music 5, um, so yeah, we're gonna have it hopefully in the next Few weeks. It, the, what, what a lot of people don't know is that those are really the, the hardest things to shoot because they take a lot of time and uh, and most of it's not funny. And uh, we can shoot for like three hours, get five minutes of funny stuff, and then have all the funny stuff happen in like 15 minutes. So it's just a matter of just going out there. So I apologize about the wait. There is one coming, and it'll be good. I promise. Is he here? Peter's, Peter's somewhere out here. Peter, if you're here, come to the stage. Make sure you guys stick around for Peter's set, by the way, later. Oh, yeah. he's I think it's acting. He's, he's got one of the best acts uh, around. And he's handsome. I'd kiss him. And he's really nice. I think he did last night. Yeah. Um, my, I have two questions. One's here. Uh, my first one's for Cassim. Uh, what's with the obsession with wolves? Okay, uh, fair enough. <laughs> I can understand why you'd ask that. Um, I've always liked wolves, I guess, it started, I had a, a shirt that I wore in one Californian video. Because the very first Californian video I did, I didn't wear a wolf shirt. The second one I did, uh, I noticed that all the comments were like, just about the wolf shirt, and not about how hilarious and good looking I am, and that was really troublesome for me. Um, but then I figured, well, if people are watching the videos because of the wolves, I will start wearing some of my personal wolf shirts. And then I've had to expand because uh, there's been a few Californians. I think I have like 30 wolf shirts now. And we have that giant wolf in the office. You know, I have a wolf statue mm -hmm. that I bought from Knott's Berry Farm. Mm -hmm. Cool story, huh? His name is Gary. His name is Gary. Gary. All right, um, Tim, who are you texting? And are they more important than us? No, I was actually tweet picking uh -huh. a picture of the audience. So I could say, hey guys, having a meet and greet would add me some over at Cassidy and Jake Carr. He loves texting. <laughs> Tim's texting a booty call right now. No. Come on. Did you really check it? Tim? I'll be able to Tim should run to I don't text, but I call booty calls. I have enough respect to call them, Cassidy. He calls having a text. But you get really good texts. I'm just saying. I'm saying. Okay, right here. Who is the most smelliest feet out of all four of you? 
I don't have smelly feet. Do you want to come up here and sniff? Do a sniff test? Do you guys? I would love to wear socks, so come on up there. Smell you asked. You asked. You asked. You have to come and do the test. Come on. I waited. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> He has no sense of smell. What a coincidence. <laughs> you can be smelling. I'm, I'm so glad. Are you, are you not going to smell our feet now? He has no sense of smell. I mean, come on. What is yeah. that like, having no sense of smell? Yeah, what's food? What's food like? Does, does food Stop not... being so nosy. <laughs> well done. That's it. We're out of here. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Oh, All right. Okay. Has any questions ever here before you see the sign? Somebody has to, or else this is embarrassing. Uh, this question is for Shay. Uh, what was it like guest starring on No Ordinary Family? Us. Oh, awesome. Because I hate TV. Yeah. YouTube. Oh, it was really cool. It was fun. It was it was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. They did a few takes, and he's like, "All right, we're wrapped on Shay." I was like, "Is that it?" I thought we were just practicing. But it was fun. It was really fun. Was it harder or? Uh, easier than making a YouTube video. It was easier because they have like a thousand people there. They have like a, a guy that puts tape on the ground and he has an assistant. And uh, you know, doing YouTube is funner, but More yeah, fun. it was quick. They were very efficient. <laughs> but just, uh, she corrected your grammar. More fun. That was oh. annoying. No, Sorry. funner's a word. Yeah. It. <laughs> it's funner to say funner than more fun. Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, over here, guys. This is for everybody. What do you like best about YouTube? Just the, the freedom to do it. You want, yeah. whatever you want, however you want. I like offending people on like a massive level. <laughs> like, just a giant <laughs> level. That's what I get to do. Yeah. It's cool. You get to be a part of the, the world conversation. Mm -hmm. there's, there's really a lot to what Lisa said about the freedom because, you know, now that, that I've done TV, they, they have to approve every little stupid yes. thing. Like, yeah. they change the script a little bit. They're like, call the writers, call this guy, call this guy. But on YouTube, it's just like, well, what do we want to do? What do we think is fun? And that's the, the greatest part about what we do. Yeah, and it's allowed us to, at the same time, start our own company together. Yes. With our own money and, and yep. you know, I don't know if you guys know, we have a company called Maker Studios and it's a place where YouTubers can go and, and make videos and, and talk to other YouTubers and, and it's just, it's kind of like a... It's like a studio book for online, but it's run by yeah. the YouTubers. Um, it was like so the first time like I all of us there. flew to California and filmed with Lisa and Danny. I was like, this is so fun, this is easier. We have help of people who do the same thing, so it just made sense to you know, get together and collaborate and you know, we started a company together. There's like over 100 channels. There's over 100 channels that's working together. together. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. And the station is just one old channel on it. Okay, over for you. Hey, guys. Uh, Tim, I love your stuff. Cassim, you know I love you. Lisa, I love you. you too. Shay, I love you as much. Oh, um, yes. I want to say, when are you guys going to do another uh, food fight, something like that? I enjoyed the food fight. I was do you fun. mean like a giant like collaborative everybody? video? Yeah. Yeah. You should yeah. get Mikado later, meet us there. I was thinking, I was thinking we could do we it all here with everybody. Let's yeah. make one. I'm sure Marriott would totally be on board yeah. for that. <laughs> I mean, want to do one of the bill for playlists or something. Yeah. yeah. Put it on my room. The food fight. Do I have to tip for that? No, we should. It's always fun making group videos. Yeah, yeah. We we every that. once in a while we'll get together and do like a big video like that. It's just we're all too famous for each other now, you know? It's no time. <laughs> Are you still over here? Is there any way I can apply to the station? Or any more makers? At Maker Studios? At Maker Studios? Totally. Hey, yeah, I, re I recognize free. you. I met you in the lobby. You and Courtney Pants, you're at Courtney Pants. Is she here? No? Anywhere? No, I want to sleep. She's a, she's an up and coming channel. Subscribe. Yeah, that's a good question because we do. There's like a hundred people that work at Maker Studios now. Yeah. And it's just, you know, we find people that are uh, you know excited about it and who are talented. Like Nice Peter, for example, is a great story. He was I was just talking to him last night at dinner. He he basically was on the road for seven years playing in bars and just little comedy clubs, and now he finally found this giant audience of you know 300,000 people that are subscribed to him now. And he's so talented, you know, that's, that's the kind of people we, we like, is talented people. So if you're not talented, don't apply. <laughs> Wait a minute. Anybody in the middle area? Motivational. What are some of the dumbest comments that you've gotten on like your channels and stuff? 
don't think I can repeat them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's no dumb comments, no, just dumb people. Right. <laughs> Click here for free iPod. First! First! I want to murder you, that's dumb. No <laughs> stuff like that. What's the weirdest thing you ever had to sign? Quesadilla. <laughs> I signed a quesadilla two nights ago. Oh, yeah. Are they here? Yeah. A quesadilla. I signed this quesadilla. I signed boobs once, but that was awesome. Not yeah, weird. yeah. yeah. Not you weird. Weird. ever signed a booby? I don't think I have. Mm. I would like to. <laughs> right, okay, here in the back. Lisa, if you had to joust one YouTuber here, who would it be? To death. It would they have to die. Um, ooh, I, that's... That's a tough one. Dave, 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 you're going down. I would joust the heck out of Dave Days. That's she's what she's going to joust you all night long. Ooh, girl. Right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in high school, did you rap? And if you did, what was the reaction of your classmates whenever you rapped? And you were better than most of the fancy rappers that we rapped today. Girl! <laughs> 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 no, you know, I did, I did rap in high school, and it was, it was interesting for me because, uh, you know, even back then, my high school was like predominantly like Hispanic and black, so it was like, I was, at first it was, I was like, who's oh, this? Oh, that's where you get it. <laughs> yeah, that's where I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, at first it was always like, you know, I'm used to, as soon as I, before I even start rapping, people are already like, ha! What, what are you? What? But then eventually, you know, as people got to know me and hear my stuff, they liked me. I got voted best rapper in one of the little slam books. And, uh, and, uh, and I was prom king, so... That was a long time ago. Bro. That was a long time ago. Now it's like, meh. Mm -hmm. Carrie's a yearbook with him everywhere he goes. I know, I show people, hey, I was prom king. <laughs> no, but, yeah. Thank you. Um, yes. Well, <laughs> what was the question? Yes. 